What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well, I'm Tony Fuentes and in this video we're going to check out the new tool that's been added into Lightroom that will make our editing process so much easier. With this tool we can achieve perfect skin tones or isolate simple parts of our image to color grade them or correct them in a different manner independently from the other parts of the image. Now I use a lot of presets and particularly for portraits, normally the skin tones aren't quite correctly exposed and correctly colored guys so when I apply a preset I want to achieve the same effect that the preset gives us but with the correct skin tones and with this new slider within the brush tool it allows us to isolate that part of the image and correct it individually so let's jump into Lightroom and edit this guys so, we, so guys if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I edit portraits you can check out the link up here in the cards where I take you through my editing process within portraits this time I'm just gonna select and make emphasis on this tool and how to use it and how to make our editing process a lot more simple guys. So you recognize a lot of these images um, they're from my edit like dirt set video I'll link it up here again if you want to check it out. So let's start editing this one. Now here we have Danny and this is the raw image. Normally I like to go to my presets and select one so in this case I'm gonna go all the way down to my vintage pack and I'm gonna select Sinistera which is a very dramatic one we can see that before and after with Y on our keyboard and we can see that it's very heavily tinted towards the warmish tones. Now this image, I'm liking it a lot. I like what it's done with the sky, with everything. So I would just correct some things like putting down the highlights so the sky isn't completely blown out and raising a bit of the blacks so we lose a little bit more contrast. Other than that, it's looking very nice with the exception of the skin tones. Here we can see the skin tones from the original image and yes, Danny was a bit blushed because it was a very hot day but in this side of the image, in the um, one with the preset, it's completely red uh, it looks like if she was, she spent too much time in the beach without sunblock. So normally what we would do guys is go all the way to the HSL tabs and select this point over here, the selector and select the skin tones of Danny and here we can see that we're altering the red and the orange sliders within the HSL tabs in the saturation and in the hue as well guys. But in order to correct these ones, we can see that not only her skin tones are changing, but the color of her dress, the color of the fa facades in the background and also a bit of the bricks in the back and of the street are alterating guys and that's not ideal. Uh, what I want to do is keep these colors that we've heavily applied with the preset but correcting the skin tones. So how do we correct this guys? We go all the way up to the brush tool and here we have the typical sliders, we have white balancing, the basic corrections, the presence tabs but also here we have the new adjustment, fine adjustment tool with a hue slider and a saturation slider. This is the tool that will save our butt a lot when editing portraits guys. And over here as well we have the auto mask which is now added which is perfect guys it allows us to create a mask quite simply and quite fast we don't need to take too much time on it. So in this case let's zoom in and we're gonna color with the brush tool all parts of the skin of Danny in this case or our model or everything anything that you want to change the color from your image. So I'm gonna select O on our keyboard to select the mask overlay so we can see what we're coloring and everything that we color is going to be tinted in a reddish tone. So I'm just going to fast forward guys, I'm just going to select everything. Okay so once we've selected everything that we want guys, we can select O on our keyboard once again to disappear the overlay and now we're going to adjust the hue of our skin tones and the saturation so we can mimic the real skin tones from the original image. So in this case I'm just going to pull the hue all the way down to the oranges because she's very blushed and very reddish in this image and then I'm going to pull the saturation down so we get a more natural skin like color something around there then I'm going to alter a bit of the temperature of that part of the image to make it a bit cooler then I'm going to hit enter and basically what we did was alter the colors of the red and the orange but only in these parts of the image then the other thing that uh, I noticed is that her lips are completely blue and that's basically because uh, this preset completely desaturates the magentas. So I'm just going to return them just a bit like that. And basically that's how you edit certain parts of the image. So let's edit another one. This one I have a portrait of myself. And let's apply a preset. In this case I'm going to use a preset from the Retro Pack, which I really like for portraits in direct sunlight. Maybe I'm going to go with Constance. And here we can see the before and after. Basically the skin tones are quite nice. These presets are designed to edit in direct sunlight and portraits in particular but we can see that the clothing has changed drastically. Here we have the original image where we have a lot more blue, dark blues in the shirt and in the other hand we have the tones turning towards the aquas. And here what we want to do is change the color of the shirt back to its original color 
but without altering the blues of the sky and of the world that being been alterated and I really like them in this preset guys. So once again, we're going to go all the way down to the brush tool and we're going to select the fine adjustment tool and remember to check mark the auto mask and with our our keyboard we can select the overlay and now we're going to color everything from the shirt. Okay, once you've done that guys, with O on our keyboard we can deselect and now I'm going to put the other image in comparison with Y on our keyboard. So here we can change the color of the selection, so in this case I'm just going to go with a more darker blues. Move it to the right so we get the correct hue. Maybe around there. And then I'm just going to drop the blacks of this area in particular. And decrease a bit of the shadows. And now we have the original color from the original photo or something similar without alterating the backgrounds and the blues from the preset. So, so we can see that before and after, this is how it was without the brush tool, just the preset, the colors out of the preset. And here it is with the colors once adjusted within the brush tool in the fine adjustment tool. So that's the tool that I wanted to show you guys, the fine adjustment tool and the auto mask in the brush tool. And slowly but surely the program Lightroom is becoming a more complete program for photo editing. With each update, I feel less the need to jump into Photoshop to correct the image. Here in Lightroom, now we have this tool, the fine adjustment tool, which basically replaces the masking tool. In Photoshop, we have the radio filters, gradient filters, the spot removal tool, which replaces the healing tool. So it allows us to do some retouching in our portraits. And also we have the red eye removal and all these tools that are slowly being incorporated into Lightroom and making it a more complete program or make more complete software for photo editing. Just a quick reminder guys that the preset that we've used right here and all the preset packs that I've ever created, I've added them into a 2020 premium preset bundle with more than 66 presets. If you want to go check it out, it has a 50% discount with the code that's appearing on the screen right here. And the link is down below so you can support me in that manner and you get some nice presets in exchange all the presets that i've ever created guys and the ones i use every day other than that guys i don't have anything more to add except happy new year i hope you had a very nice start of the year and i hope this year is better than last one surely guys so if you did like the video can you please give it a like it really makes a difference and consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload the next video i'm tony fuentes cheers to all of you and see you in the next one